All right, thank you, Chase. Well, tonight there's confusion on whether local hotels are price gouging during this freeze. Interesting here. ABC Big 2's Marco Ramirez tells us some people are very frustrated. People who have lost power at their homes have been coming to hotels in order to find a warm place to stay. But tonight there are social media posts circulating claiming that hotels are price gouging. And one local man says it's happening to him. The cold weather hit and the power went out. Uh, we ended up having to leave our home. Stephen Morris and his family are staying at a Midland hotel instead of at their Odessa home, and they're not happy about it. Morris says he has to extend their stay since the power is still out at home, but it's coming with a price. We were told no, that we couldn't extend it. We argued with them about that. Finally, they said, yes, you can, but we're raising your rate to $140 a night for the remainder of the days. And Morris says he's not the only one. A gentleman told me he paid $156 a night. Um, the pricing has been all over the place. It's not been consistent. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I believe they're trying to gouge what they feel they can out of the person on an individual basis. State law prohibits any type of price gouging, but social media posts have showed local hotels are charging rooms for as much as $1,000 a night. Odessa Mayor Javier Joven says third-party reservations may be responsible. I think that you know they attach it to some local hotels and they wind up getting hit or, and getting criticized. Uh, I called some of the hotels myself, got through, that, that it's not the case that you're not charging a $1,000 yeah. for, for a room. But in Morris's case, Mayor Hoven says a $40 price jump is normal. The thing is, is that, you know, supply and demand, if you see a $40, $60 increase, and that's going to probably be pretty much normal. Mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 and anybody's going to say that's price gouging for the reasons that they're paying a higher rate than they were when right. they got checked out. As for Morris, he says he's not happy spending the extra money, but he says it's worth it to keep his family safe during these frigid temperatures. We're, we're going to pay it. We have my, my wife and I and our two pets, so realistically we can't go stay in our house. Now, I did reach out to Morris's hotel to get more information on how they price, but they did not wish to comment. Reporting in Midland, I'm Mark Ramirez, ABC Big 2 News.